Hello, Soul Tribe family, and welcome to a very, very special Saturday Night Live with Lady D, because I have here the one, the only, you know her, she would usually be in the chat, crushing those trolls, crushing those trolls, protecting Lady D, organizing Lady D, but now she's here on screen, the one and only YouTube criminal, freshly out on bail, the real world witness. Kristen Kelly herself, real world witness, Christy. Hey, how's it going? That was a great uh, intro. <laughs> yeah, I'm a you criminal, all it. right. <laughs> I mean, you deserve it. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, I'm so happy. I just got out of jail yesterday. <laughs> YouTube yeah. jail. And, yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. so we crazy. have to we have to be careful. Unfortunately, we have to be careful about what we say. So we have to yeah. speak in codes and be careful in the chat because all eyes are on us. God forbid if we talk about 45 or our almighty creator, God. No, no, no. Oh, that's a no. big no no to screw tube, right, Chrissy? That's right. That's what got oh, you no. in jail, right? Anything positive and good is bad to them, you know. It's like <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Like, we're that big people. I mean, that's the thing that cracks me up because I only have like 640 subscribers on my, I, I just a little pee on. What the hell are they even looking? And they had to go back. You know what? And I meant to tell you this. I went back. It was actually from, from uh, October, that video. So they went back six months to where that video was. I mean, six wow. months. It's been up the whole time. Wow. It, whatever. Wow. Oh, okay. well. Our, our beloved, speaking of, I guess he's speaking in PA right now. Let's yeah. do a prayer for our beloved yeah, because we love do. him. I'm going to do one because we have to okay. do one anyway. We just did an epic one, but Chrissy and I want to, we'll do another one. Because yeah, we have to do, do our prayer one. beforehand. We need one All right, let's do him. A, we'll do a prayer and then we'll do our housekeeping. And then we're going to get to the contentido we caliente. <laughs> We are going to go, Chrissy and I are going to go down the rabbit hole of all rabbit holes. We're going to take current events, mostly, I would say, current historical mysteries as well as ancient mysteries. Yes. And we're going to get to the nitty gritty. We're going to go down the rabbit hole until we find out the truth about all of these. We can't say that word, you know, the, those theories that begin with the C what, because, what you know. About, it's the X-Files. Saturday the X Files. Night. That's right. We have. We should do that because we know the truth is out there. Bam, bam. Yeah. I have the like the X Files theme in my head. I know. Me too. I wish we could play it. That'd be epic. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. Well, the thing is, is that we got two girls. So uh, who's going to be Scully and who's going to be Mulder? I know. Well, you have the red hair, but I, I definitely am not a Mulder. So I don't know. We need that. We need Jason. Jason could be Mulder. I'll be, uh, I don't even know. There weren't any other women on that show. I guess I'm, I'm I'll am right. be the producer. I'll be behind the scenes. You guys can be in the front. I'll be behind the scenes. I'll be the smoking man. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Mama's Hi, here. Hi, Hi, Mama. Mom. <laughs> Love you. Love you, Mama. Okay, so she's so funny. She has lots of children, not just yes. Jason and Kristen. She didn't realize. That that was gonna happen, but you know now she didn't realize that she wasn't just gonna have the Wonder Twins; she's gonna have all these kids. <laughs> all right, hilarious. all right. Um, let's do a prayer for our okay. beloved forty-five, okay. and then we'll get to the 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 housekeeping, and then we'll get to the contendido and we caliente. All right, okay. Heavenly Father, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, we are all here tonight. We're gathered together, and first and foremost. Thank you so much for bring, bringing us together, all of our Soul Tribe brothers and sisters. We love each other so much. Most of us have never even met in person, and we look forward to that. And Chrissy and I are going to be doing, uh, we'll be planning that, Lord God, after global events. We'll have an epic, epic gathering. So we're going to put that in your hand, Lord God, and here's with Jesus. But thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for this channel. Lord God, we love our 45. He is our rightful president. We know he's your David. And I guess he's speaking now or somebody that's playing him is speaking now. 
Nevertheless, we love him. Protect our 45 and bring him back. We know he's your David. Protect him. Everyone protects him, all his family, anyone that's working for him. And not only that, protect all of our super soldiers. Protect all those that are in spirit, any spiritual entities or light beings. Valiant Thor and his family, all those on all dimensions that are fighting the fight, all human and non-human entities. Lord God, thank you for bringing in us together. I wish everyone in the soul tribe love and peace. Please bring them harmony. Please bring them healing in their mind and body and spirit. Please bring them abundance. Lord God, please, if there's anyone watching now that feels despondent, feels sad, feel alone, please send all of your army of angels to surround them and protect them and let them know that they are loved, they are worthy, and they matter. Lord God, please activate all of our divine DNA. Give us our gifts. Lord God, bring us up. Deliver us from all evil. And Lord God, give us the courage, the strength, and the tenacity to keep going. There's so many of us that are tired. We're tired, Lord God. There are people that have been awake for years and years and years, tens of, you know, 30 or some odd years. Give us the strength to run this last mile. If we fall during this last mile of the race, pick us up. Get us going. Let us go to this finish line. Let's bring it home. We are ready. We are willing. We are able. We are your army. We love you. We worship you. We praise you. And Chrissy and I give this show to you. We dedicate this show to you. We ask that all those that are watching now and in the replay and in the chat, we protect them from all AI, anything evil, demonic, satanic. We protect them now and always. Lord God. We love you, we worship you, and we praise you. And you and Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, we also honor you. And we can never thank you for what you've done for us, for sacrificing your life. We also honor you and worship you, Yeshua HaMashiach. In the mighty name of Yeshua Jesus, so be it, and it is so, and so it is. So Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was great. That was a great prayer. I got chills. <laughs> I'm telling you, I recommend a grounding mat. Ever since I've had this grounding mat, I feel yeah. phenomenal. I need to, I I really need to get one of those. I, 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 I didn't even know I'll show it. you. I'll show you. It's like $16 on Amazon. This is like. Yeah. Right, you plug it in it's, and you don't even need, you just need the. And, and it really, I think it's making a difference. I really think it's making really? a difference. Can you just yep. sit on it? You can sit on it. You can sleep on it. You can just um, you can put it under your and type on it. You can put it under your mat and put it like if you want to ground it. Like a lot of times, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it under my feet and take my my socks yeah. off and use it as a grounding mat under my feet. Yeah. But you could any any way you want to do it. It was under my my ass. <laughs> it was on my sammy. It was course, under your it's... ass at one point, but you know wherever you need, wherever you feel you need it. <laughs> you feel you need it. So I'm gonna put it down. So I would recommend these folks. Um, and yes, I feel great after the, uh, you know, after my my rant this yes. week. <laughs> That was epic, man. I was laughing. I'm like, oh my God, she's going to town. She's doing it. But you know what? This is the thing. And I and I do want to say this. I mean, listen, we're just people like like everybody else. The only difference is, is that we're willing to come on and share, like, you know, with yeah, everybody. Yeah, that, that's true. So, and, and, you know, it, it's just sometimes we just, we have our bad days. Listen, I had some stuff going on last week, you know, thank God for Lady D. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, family crap, you know, that comes up. And even though we're trying to, like, move forward without these three deers, it's hard because then you get sucked back into the crap, you know. But, right. uh, you know, we just said it, it's just a matter of you got to understand it's great to be happy. And, you know, yeah, you want to be positive. But, I mean, it's okay to feel your emotions and go through it and then deal with it, let go, and then try to leave it in the past i mean that's sort of what i've been trying to do anyway it's just you know it's yeah we we just we just have to like i said i just this toxic positivity we have to let people be there's not one size fit all some people when they're right. depressed they don't want to talk you know you just have to let people be anyway yeah. anyway so 
Real world witness Chrissy, you former YouTube criminal that's been recently out, and now she's been out on parole. You're out on parole, so you better be I careful and not in my not orange. any more crimes. My orange is the new black. I traded the in the jumper. The black. All right. So those those of you that that are just joining in, um, listen. You don't ever have to buy me a super chat or a super thanks. However. If you do want to send me some love, I pinned on the top here my buy me a coffee. It's at the very tippity top pinned the first comment. Please use buy me a coffee rather than screw tube. Unfortunately, YouTube, they take taxes. There's all kinds of stipulations, blah, blah, blah. They have their percentage. I have to wait. I can't get it's so if you choose to send me love and if you would like to tip me which you don't have to, please use Buy Me A Coffee and not YouTube. Um, yes. The channel's monetized. However, I, I'm going to slowly phase unmonetize it, it, phase it out, but I have to collect for it. And you guys all know the deal. You've watched, you know my, you've so, you saw the videos, you've heard, you saw my community page, you know what's going on. I don't want to repeat myself. So Good news is that I got my money, but out of a $500 tip, it came to $290 with all their taxes. And, and so, you know, I live in Massachusetts. I live in Massachusetts, so they automatically took out the 25%. This is why I like buy me a coffee. No taxes taken out, no fuss. I get my money in three days. They don't charge an arm and a leg. They charge like maybe like a 50 to a, like a less than a dollar fee. Yeah. That's it. Um, so that's why I love buy me a coffee. And if you're a content creator, buy me a coffee is it. They yeah. don't take taxes out. Um, they, you get your money, you know, it's, if you have to re they're just so much easier. So that's why I use them for everything because I don't like PayPal. I don't like the big banks, all that jazz. Yeah. All right. Now when we did our prayer up, we prayed for 45. Let's get to the housekeeping. So Chrissy. I'm going to um, bring up the Soul Tribe website oh, that yeah. you've been working on. It's a it's a pro, it's a work in progress. I'm going to share yeah. my screen. I'm playing. I'm praying. Playing Jason tonight. Yes. Okay. I have like yes, a million. Jason, can you please bring that up. <laughs> He's I have, I, have, <laughs> I have a million. I have a million. Um. A million tabs. All right, so Chrissy, tell us about the website. All right, so if you go to the home page, why don't you click on the home page at the upper left there on the menu? Um, this is a, the this is the Soul Tribe certified website for the small businesses, and <clears throat> yeah, there's there's things that I'm still working on, you know, that need to be done, but essentially it's up and what it will be is eventually here um, once people start signing up. What you will do is um, you go to the um, go to the next page up. It says uh, what is the next one there? Yeah, go there. And then it explains what we are. So basically, um, anybody that has that's a Soul Tribe member that has a small business, if you're selling a product or a service and you want to uh, be listed, for right now, uh, you can be listed on the the business list. Now that page there is gonna be all products that you'll be able to um, you'll be able to order directly from the website. So in other words, we'll still have like I'll still have my website. You know, Delphine will have her, Sarah will have hers. You know, whoever Carrie, everybody has their own outlet. But if it's just kind of, I'm trying to consolidate everything, get everybody in one spot so everybody can just order from one spot rather than trying to go to all the different places. It's sort of like, so mm -hmm. anyway, so eventually the products are going to be there. Um, the next one is, oh yeah, so there. this is what I've done so far. I mean, obviously, <clears throat> this is what I, I just put, you know, your guys, is this all I have so far <laughs> on there? Who's um, Wiggly Canine? Is that is that someone that's in the chat now? Yeah, that's Golden uh, Eagle Adventures. That's Audrey's oh, website. Let's go. And, All right, Golden Eagle, are you in the chat? 
chat. This is Golden Eagle mm -hmm. Adventures, everybody I that's in the chat. Did. I think that she's in here. Are you there? You are. Yeah. There you are. There, and, that's all, that's you. That's her. Yeah, Yay. that's her. <laughs> and uh, she's got like I don't know three thousand products. So obviously, what we'll do is Ooh. like like once we'll do it is, is, is. when people when people want to be on there, we'll figure out. You know, if you have like three thousand products, give me like you know the what you want to feature first or something like that and uh <laughs> that was the best part. so anyway and then um and then the next one is just what to watch i just added our channels but if anybody has channel that oh no this one is the oh yeah the list of local so i'm going to start gathering i'm going to start gathering a list of like Wait farmers a minute. markets in all right here we do areas. we did that we did that oh i don't know what that is Oh, that's oh, that's the Wiggly Canine website. Yeah, okay. that's the right. Website. All right, all right. I, I would click on it, but I think I can't get back, so I can't click on okay. it now. But you should go to it. All right. So then we're gonna go to source your food. So this is a list of maybe local farmers and farmers yeah. and stuff like that. I'm gonna start listing them, and you know, so you, people will have them in the major cities anyway. So that page is working on. I'm working on gathering that stuff, and then what's the next one? Go to more. Yeah. Okay, go to the next. Yeah, go right there. Also, oh, tribe shows. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Look at what Chrissy did. Chrissy did this all on her own dime and her own time. This is all yeah. Chrissy. Chrissy, all of her own dime, her own time. And th th we have to give kudos. The original idea was Sarah Ashley. Yes. Sarah's idea. Sarah Ashley's idea was to do this. Chrissy and picked up the ball, went. sent it, got it rolling, did it, and and since then it's all been Chrissy on her own time and dime. So this is not any. I'm just showing you. I'm just flipping. I I haven't done anything. So kudos to yes. Chrissy. Well, okay. thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, Sorry. I just really want. I'm gonna and I am gonna add a chat box. I um in the next probably week Ooh, or so. So what? Oh, I like is, it. It'll be like, like a chat place. People can go. I know. I said I gotta use that one. I, I, I yes. Have thank you. Thank you for using Paul. I <laughs> love it. I was like, I gotta use that video. It, thank it's you. To thank you, to Lady D. <laughs> and, but yeah. So eventually, here, what I want is like, if when we're not doing a show because everybody's in chat, we can just go to the website and be in chat there and talk and share you. and you know connect. And so that's all that's what it really is and eventually i just really want it to be like a hub for the soul tribe and eventually what will be there is like for instance if we do like a meetup if we get to plan that then all the information will be on there and people who have businesses that are that are that are part of that are a member of this you guys will get like uh tables or whatever so you can bring your products that to our meetup and you can sell them and you know it's going to be pretty cool once i get this really organized but i just want to get something up so that you guys didn't think i was not doing anything <laughs> so it's great you've done a good job chrissy really honest to god it's really great i love that um so tell us about for those um the deal about those that would that are interested in perhaps having their business product in there, listed whatever. on this website okay yeah. so what you do is is just go to that see that buy me a coffee page right at the top yeah, and let it me see if it works it does yay it worked okay it better <laughs> work yay okay <laughs> so in order to it's right now i've got it at seven dollars to join but you know i'm i'm thinking i might lower it because i know everybody is broke <laughs> trust me i understand that a thousand percent so um, I think the more people that sign up, the cheaper I can make it, basically. Because right, have, because there's costs involved, monthly costs. Tell them about yeah. that and why you're charging and all that jazz. Yeah, because there's the monthly charge every single month. And because it's a, it's considered a business, it's on the high end of the business, pro, the business, whatever you want to call it. The hosting, the you have to pay a hosting fee, prices. yeah. You have to pay a business, the business premium fee versus just like having a, a plain website so it costs more i had to buy and i i put out and i put out and i i had to buy the um the what do you call it the domain name and yes. and you know and i mean honestly not cheap. i not yeah cheap. And, I, and i don't want to like this is not like money making scheme whatever i because i want to make it affordable so everybody can do it i mean i just think the goal for me 
with this is just to unite everybody and bring everybody into one place so that we're not scattered all over the place. And so, you know, if you want to buy from Carrie Kay, you want to buy, you know, then it'll just be easier for everybody to find everybody. And I think it'll just be funner. It'll be fun. I feel like it'll be a positive hub on the internet. That's like kind of what I want for it. So beautiful. So beautiful. So I, I guess Chrissy's going to do maybe like five bucks a month. The thing is, is that she just needs to, she just needs to make sure that, you know, she's not paying personally for this every month. So, and, and obviously yeah. the more people that join, it will, it will be lower. Like It'll if like 50 people join, like, it could be like a buck a month. Who knows? It all depends yeah. on, right. I mean, like Chris is not doing this to make, to, to get rich. She's doing this. So yeah. to help no. the soul tribe to get all our businesses and to, and let's face it, we don't want to give our dollars to the cabal businesses. We want to support each other and our right. soul tribe family. So this is why she's doing it. Yeah. And I feel weird having to even do like have people be on there and say, well, anyway, right now it's listed at seven, but I'm, I'm thinking I'll, I'll lower it to maybe five for right now. So, um, Audrey, you're going to get like $2 credit for next month because she already paid for set for one month, <laughs> but <laughs> she's the only one. So, uh, but yeah, if you guys want to sign up, um, you can go over there. You can shoot me an email, go to the website, go to the contact page. You can, you know, just send me an email and I'll get it and we can, you know, the, um, if you want to fill out the application, it's on, it's on where it says like, what is as it's the second tab there. If you go down the bottom, you click on the application link and it'll bring it up and you can send that to me too, or you can just email me either or. And if you have not already joined real world witness Chrissy, YouTube criminals, <laughs> Bad girl, smooth I'm, criminal Chrissy, smooth criminal Chris yes, Kirsten Kelly herself. You've been hit by a smooth criminal, Kirsten Kelly. Yep. Exactly, <laughs> Kirsten so Kelly. Here we go. Kirsten Kelly, real world witness. Chrissy, do you have your link to your website too? If you do want to uh, buy, no, her I, book, have, it's, I think I do on my link. You have to put your link. You, you should put your link, your um, Kirsten Kelly Chronicles right here so people can. Okay, can yeah, I need to do that. Right. I haven't done that. All right. I'm All so right. bad so, at anyways. promoting this. I okay, promote so everybody anyways. else. I don't care about myself, really, to be honest with you. But um, so click on, you know, subscribe. And if you want to buy her book, it's um, KirstenKellyChronicles.com. www.kirsten, not Kristen, Kirsten Kelly Chronicles. Here's the book that sold out at Comic Con, everybody. It sold out. I still can't get over it. Jason, I'm gonna pull a Jason and bring it up. <laughs> You're pulling a Jason. Anyway, I don't know how Jason does this with one screen. I don't know how our brother does it. God bless him. I don't know. I, I, I'm like, he, I at least have two screens. He's got. He he's just got mad skill. That boy. <laughs> All right. Here's, the, here's Kristen Kelly website. I'm putting it in the chat right now. If you're right. interested, beautiful book. All right. Yeah. Also, so do you have anything else to bring us up to date? Is that it? Are we up to date on the YouTube criminal Kristen Kelly? I think, AKA so. Christy? I, think I just took the first hour, but okay. <laughs> right. That's so much to go over. <laughs> All right, so I will share my screen again. Soul Tribe family, if you haven't already, obviously, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also, my spring sale, I'm going to bring it up, is ending tonight at midnight. So Ooh. if you haven't already, I'm going to share my screen. If you haven't already oh. gone to soultherapywithladyd.com and bought your, if you want to get a 30-minute reading, they're only $65 until midnight tonight. The sale ends tonight at midnight. And all of my one-hour soul therapy sessions, and, uh, and they're usually $150, all right? They're $111, and all my one-hour readings are $39 off. So my one hour, all of my one hour soul therapy sessions and my readings are $39 off and $10 off the 30 minute reading. So if you're interested, you have to purchase before midnight tonight. 
And that is Soul Therapy with Lady D.com. All of this info, my my channel, my website, the link to the Soul Tribe, um, the new Soul Tribe product website, certified website, Chrissy's channel, Kristen Kelly Chronicles, everything is going to oh, you already did it. It's a, Chrissy's art, she's still working. <laughs> She's still I'm already she's, working it, girl. She's still working on screen. It, it'll, it'll be in the description of the video. I just didn't do it yet. All right. So that's that. You have my buy me a coffee page. Now let's get to Sparrow Rose. I love you. You already, Sparrow Rose already bought me five coffees. I love Aww. you, girlfriend. Thank you so much. So that was very sweet of you. All right. Soul Tribe family, we've got quite the show for you. So just a warning, we're not doing any politics, right? Not doing any politics. We're doing mysteries, historical mysteries, um, just all kinds of like supernatural woo-woo type things. And we're getting, and I called this the rabbit hole because we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and we're going to go down to the rabbit hole going down the rabbit hole of all of these mysteries to find out the truth, just like they say in the X-Files, the truth is out there. And since I, you know me, I do my tarot and people don't know, Chrissy studies the tarot. And I will tell you, Chrissy is a damn good tarot reader. I had a read for me today and she was spot on. So you get two tarots for that yeah. price of one, two tarot chicks for the price of one. So, the reason, another reason why I said going down the rabbit hole, because I'm going to do some quick readings and then Chrissy's going to pick one or two yeah. follow up cards to confirm and give any additional things that I might not have picked up in the reading. So we are going to go down the rabbit hole and the truth is out there. We're going to find out the nitty gritty, the truth of all these C word theories, <laughs> you know, you know, all the jazz. Yes. So we're going to start with Bumpara, the Titanic. Dun dun dun! That thing scares the crap out of me, man. I I swear, I, that that movie was just crazy. Oh, anyway. All right. So I am going to share my screen. I'm going to really be the princess of peace tonight and do a whole bunch of sharing <laughs> of screens. Okay, okay, so there's many, many theories. There's many, many conspiracy yeah. theories. I said the word. Many, many theories about why the Titanic. Okay, we're very recently people are saying it wasn't hit by an iceberg. Okay, yeah. all right. There's so many different reasons. Some of the reasons are because of certain passengers, and we're mm -hmm. talking about passengers that have our last names like Rockefeller and Rothschild mm -hmm. in particular. Okay, so we're gonna go through a couple of the theories about what happened. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, here we go. So in the 1990s, a new and explosive theory emerged, championed by author and enthusiast from England, Robert Gardner proposed that the Titanic never really sank at all. Mm. that in April 1912, it was actually the ship's sister, the Olympic, that sank as part of a plot to cash in on the insurance for the beleaguered owner of the lines, the White Star Line. Flash forward to today, and the theory has picked up speed in recent years in online forums and social media. So what is the truth? What actually happened in 1911 and 1912? Right. It says is this two part series will explain the facts as they stated the photo record, um, the photo record and plans to establish what happened to the Olympic. OK, so that's mm -hmm. that. All right. So. Now I have another I'm going to have a million and five, a million and five <laughs> things going on on my email. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to shop. I'm going to I'm going to stop sharing for one minute. And I have another. Oh, now I know why J why Jason is. Here we go. Jason's a good doobie. He knows what he's doing. I give him a lot of credit. Oh, yeah. He's got he's got he's thimble enough. I don't know. I I get so flustered. I I'm good if I'm like I don't like to just anyway. Yeah, never mind. I'm not right, good at so it. So here we go. 
Did an iceberg really sink the Titanic? Google whistleblower Zach Voorhees. Voorhees, I guess that's how you pronounce the name. Is here to talk about the missing submarine and his alternative theory about what really is going on. When the media believes something is important, all the exact same narrative that is the red flag that the truth is being concealed. The lost submarine operation was initially funded by the Rothschild. Now he's talking about how, you know, that missing submarine where the, um, yeah. the millionaires, all right, and that family yep. died. They're saying that the reason why that that wasn't an accident, that was purposely sunk because they don't want people going down below to see what really happened to the Titanic. Because wow, I believe it. Saying, okay, now. Sorry, now, I think there's one more. There's theories that, it's a couple of theories. One is that there was another person on the Titanic that had a patent, a patent that one of the Rothschilds wanted the rights to, but he wouldn't give it up. So there's one yeah. theory that they, that, that, that it was actually wasn't even a, a, um, an iceberg that there was some kind of missile. And there's oh. been witness a couple of people that have been um, that are still alive, not many, that kind mm -hmm. of at the very end have kind of um, before they passed away, kind of on their deathbed confession, saying we lied about it. It wasn't an iceberg. It was sabotage. That there was, I guess, there was a ship that the, the, it was torpedoed. Okay, wow. and it was because the Roth, one of the Rothschild, one of the demons, wanted yes. that patent. Now there's another one that. It was purposely sunk, okay, either by an explosion or a torpedo because they wanted to cash in on the insurance money. Yes. So hmm. we are going to do a deep dive, a rabbit hole. Now, let's see. I have like 1,015 tabs open. Let me see if I have any more videos for Titanic. Okay. Before, I I, before we do a card, we'll do a spread I on it. I remember my I remember also hearing somebody that didn't want that wanted to stop the Federal Reserve was on that. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, I exactly. There was another one, too. So there's all kinds yeah. of theories. Basically, the gist of it is that it, the theory is that there was a Rothschild on board, which mm -hmm. demon right. and they took the, everything down. Because the Rothschild wanted something, whether it was the patent, the money, the insurance, whatever. And, of course, they survived because they're demons and the monsters, right. and that's what they do. And what better way to do it? Not only that, but they get, thank you. Was it him? All right, okay, so there's another thing about J Jacob Astor, too. He's another one that was on there, and I don't, but Jacob there was a Astor. lot of rich people on there. And, yeah, um yeah, so there were we'll like never several know. bankers, I think. There were like several right. of them. Yeah. Right. All right. So I'm going to do my dark cards. So, okay. Yeah. Don't use the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I need to wet my whistle. Yeah. He was a real estate mm -hmm. developer, investor, writer, lieutenant colonel in the Spanish American War, and a Prominent here we go. All right, here we go. They're on it. Nope, sorry. Sorry, I love you, but no offense. Here we go. Thank we you, Saggy. Sag, Saggy. Okay, Saggy Lady 8 is on it. Jacob Astor opposed the idea of the Federal Reserve. Okay, okay, so we know. So the bottom line is, let's ask. First and foremost, let's get to just the basics, okay? okay. Was the Titanic sunk by an iceberg? I'm going to pull three. Okay. And then Chrissy... I want you to pull. I'll pull three or four to see if I get my answer. Okay. All right. Let's ask. All right. Chrissy and I already did our protection prayers. Holy God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, did the Titanic really sink from hitting an iceberg? Was that the real truth? Did the Titanic, did it sink by hitting an iceberg? And any other insights or information as to what really happened with the Titanic, Lord God, and Yeshua Jesus. <clears throat> I 
है वाओ anxious to hear that yep i'm getting it was not an iceberg i'm getting it was exactly the conspiracy theorists are right <laughs> it was taken down by the deep dark cult yep yep all right um and i'm also getting to yeah because they wanted to level up so i'm getting that it was all about getting money and i do think that they wanted a patent i do think it was one a patent so i'm getting okay mm -hmm. it, 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 it was a collaboration all right it was a collaboration yeah. and this was a way for them to secure their long-term wealth mm -hmm. all right that's interesting yes all right and they were just and i'm getting it wasn't just one reason i'm getting there were many reasons i'm getting it was the federal reserve they did want the patent the insurance and a great sacrifice think about it what what a great sacrifice to their yeah. their overlord satan to, to to sacrifice all those people so there was many reasons but i'm getting it was not an iceberg now miss chrissy what say you well what's interesting is see i got the the knight of cups which i think there was information on there that obviously right somebody's yep. giving information and then this is in the background so i definitely think it was a torpedo or something that was something that happened in the background or looking here right hidden okay. in plain sight so there was probably yeah, shit it was around it was a sabotage it was, it was around yeah. I, I, i'm thinking yep. torpedo just because of the one it's got the one in the background yeah but yeah also i got the same card it was something that they planned for a long time and it had to do with Ooh, money oh i love that we both got the same card i love when that and happens the bottom of the deck it happened really quick so yep. it was definitely like a torpedo or something that's why i believe it's that and not the iceberg so yeah and so you're saying it was kind of like a building seven they wanted to get rid of evidence too yes that's what i think okay Ooh, that's nice read right? nice yeah. read all right so it's so funny because wow. even this morning we were on we were in sync it was crazy this morning exactly and, chrissy yeah. got, did me readings did some readings she was awesome yeah. okay so what else what other question do we want to ask about the titanic do we want to ask if it was um was it one of the rothschilds that was it's it the right. rothschild family that kind of did it yeah let's but ask that. that all right all right all right, holy God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus. There are many theories as to why it sank. We don't, was it because one of the Rothschilds had nefarious reasons? Because they wanted something, whether it was insurance, a patent, they didn't want the Federal Reserve, What they wanted to get rid of the guy that was opposing the Federal Reserve, all of the bud, all of the above. Was it... Jacob, I don't know if it was Jacob. No, he he can't be Jacob because I don't know if he's old enough. But then well, again, they're Jacob demons. Rothschild. There's a Jacob Rothschild too. Yeah, I don't know which one, but I don't think it was yeah. him. I don't. Yeah, yeah, okay, was one of the Rothschilds? Was it the Rothschilds that ordered the demise of the Titanic? And in the other insights or information, Lord of God and Yeshua Jesus, was it one of the Rothschilds that took? that ordered the takedown of the Titanic. Yeah, I'm getting a yes. I'm getting a yes. A yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and another yes. Yeah, and it was big. It's a big secret. Well, not so much anymore. And it's because, yes, all of the above. Look at that. Greedy bastard. He wanted everything for himself. Look at that. Look at that. He wanted the insurance money, the patent. He wanted to make sure that that Astor guy was gone because he didn't. Yeah. He wanted the Federal Reserve, all, and they wanted to get rid of documents. All of the above. Greed, greed, yeah. and greed. Absolutely. And I got the strength card. Huge yes, huge yes. That it was he was trying to strengthen their the Rothschild the family position, so he created the downfall because they were going to a whole new direction. That's what I got looking at it differently. 
So it was a very strong, it was a strategic thing for him is what I'm getting. And it was a surprise though, because not too many people knew about it. I don't think. Yeah. Wow. So, Unbelievable. That's crazy. Wow. Yep. Anything wow, else? Wow. 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 So yeah. I have never read on this, you know, you, I, I mean, you read, the, the reason why we're doing is this, that there, there's so many different theories okay yeah and everyone has a story all right there's so many different stories so we just wanted to read the cards to see what we've got that's all yeah. not a big exactly. deal not a big deal sorry if this was known already right <laughs> i mean it is crazy what people i mean i i just can't believe the, the amount of greed it's so ridiculous. You know, let me just say, you can't take your money or physical things with you when you leave this plane. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Yep. I already squashed my first roll of the night and we're going to keep on goobing on because we don't give them any fodder. We don't give them any loosh. No. But just so you know, I am, oh, I'm not, I'm multi, multitasking. Multi I can multi read cards. <laughs> I can read cards. I can bring up questions and I can squ squash fucking trolls. So don't test Lady D. Don't I test agree. Lady D because it's not love and light in this channel. If you're a troll, I will crush you like you deserve. And I yeah. won't mention you. So fair warning. Next. Yep. All right, here, we go. here we go. Next one. Okay. So we did that. Okay. Now let's get to Antarctica. Oh, I'm anxious now, to do this. this is, okay. This is, we have to be careful not to talk over each other. Okay. okay. So this is, well, no, just because I don't want to like with people. Right. Yeah. So there's many, many, many theories about Antarctica. Okay. However, I want to go by the theory of this. Okay. Now, here we go. Here's, oh, oops. I'm going to share a screen. Okay. Now, according to Valley and Thor. Mm-hmm. The Arcturians inhabit with along with other alien species that mm -hmm. are some are benevolent, not so benevolent. However, all the benevolent ones are, and they've been living there for years. Now, according to Valiant Thor, oh, I can't do this. Hold on. It didn't bring up the thing. Let me bring it up. I want to share the screen. I'm going to give my soul brother a lot of credit. It's not as easy as a lot. I know. Is he's, that the one? Shit. No. He's good at multitasking, like, this kind of stuff. It's hard, the technology. I'm just saying. Oh, but why is it not bringing up the player? Oh, shit. Anyways. Just, did you click on the, the actual link to the video? Yeah, I know how to do it. It's just, you know. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. This is Antarctica. Yep. So beautiful, though. I mean, look at that. Wow. My friend just came back from there. She went yeah. with it. So it's, it's beautiful there. So. The reason, the reason that Valiant Thor, who is the commander of the Alliance, mm -hmm. he says that the reason why the ice cap, the ice caps in Antarctica, they're melting, is because the Arcturians have been living there. Now, I guess thousands of years ago, after the demise of Atlantis and Lumeria, mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. what happened is that the Arcturians, they went to Antarctica and they wanted to live there underneath and they wanted to absolutely live away from people and they wanted to live away from people. I don't blame them, quite frankly. Yeah. So what they <laughs> did is they froze up. They, it's, it was very lush and green and they froze it up to get people away and they started the ice caps. Now, mm -hmm. when they did this, okay, when they did this, they also brought a galactic arc that mm. they hid underneath the ice. And that's what the real reason why people can't go there is because there's ETs living there and they have an arc. Now, an arc, I tend to believe, could be the Ark of the Covenant. This could that's be the Ark of the Bible. 
And right. the parent leg is more than one. And apparently, ever since 2012, they've activated this. Ooh. And the Arcturians, the ones, now they took off, I guess, they took off at a certain point and then they yeah. activated this. No, I guess the story is they're going to come back. And the reason why the ice caps are melting is because they have activated the arc. So, wow. I love it. Something. I love it. Okay. Oh my God. That's so, be... yes. All right. Let's so, see about this. Is, all right. Okay. So, my question is Is it really true that the Octurians are the ones that froze up Antarctica? and hit an ark there all right so let's all right. ask holy god in the name of yeshua jesus did the arcturians is the story true that valley and thor has spoken about on many telegram and rumble that the arcturians did retreat to the area which is now known as antarctica which was eventually warm and green and did they freeze it up and live there? And did they hide some kind of galactic ark there? What say you, Lord God, in the name of Yeshua, Jesus? Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Shit, Chrissy, wait till you get what I get. Oh my God. I First and foremost, yes, it's true. Holy Absolutely shit. True. Holy yeah. shit. Yes. Story. And, and I'll tell you, the story goes in, it goes in order. Not only is it true, but look at the downfall of Atlantis and our look at Lemuria. Yeah. They retreated. They retreated on their ships. Yep. They went to Antarctica. And I have to tell you there, they they went there and they brought children there. And there's, I think they were bringing children there too. And they're, they're helping children there. Wow. And they, I yes, okay. And their children. So I feel like they, they definitely lived there and they habited. And, and I guess they had families there. Okay. And there is an arc there and they're activating it. And this arc is going to help humanity. Oh my God. <laughs> Boom. This is so crazy. You're not going to believe that. So, okay, what'd you get, girl? What'd you get? So I got, yes, it's fast moving, whatever this Ooh. is. Fast Ooh, moving. Eight of wands. That's the eight of wands. So they had to retreat quickly. Yes, retreat quick. Okay, and then I got the queen. That's the queen, or is that, no, this is the king of swords. So mm -hmm. huge breakthrough, the people that were in charge. And then I got. The world card, there's a portal there too. And on the bottom of my deck, the legacy card. Wow. So that goes back that, that they had they they had progeny. They 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 stayed there for a while and they they had children yeah. and families. Yeah. yeah. And the world card is leveling up. So in other words, they left one and they leveled up to another place. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? But it's also, I think a portal is there as well. Oh, absolutely. There's many oh, portals there. A thousand percent, Christy. Crazy? I mean, oh, this is insane. Shit. Isn't it great <laughs> having two, two psychics for the price of one because we get to confirm and we yeah, add more to each other? Insane. I mean, seriously. Yep. Wow. Mm. So, Valiant Thor. I, I trust Valiant Thor. I've already yeah. read about Valiant Thor. So, yeah. if you want to know about Valiant Thor, he's from Venus. He right. came down on a spaceship back during Eisenhower. He spent yeah. three years at the Pentagon. He wrote a book. It's called Stranger at the Pentagon. If you mm -hmm. look him up and wiki him or Google him, they bring him up as an author, but he's really a Ven Venetian alien. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's a humanoid. He looks just like... Looks yeah, just I have a picture like of him. Yeah, yeah I have a picture of him. Let me bring him up. Yeah, yeah I do. I have a picture for the show. He looks just like a normal up. human being. It's crazy, seriously. Yeah, he is cute. <laughs> Audrey, he is cute. You told him you go, yeah, he is cute. I thought he so. Is cute. He's handsome. Well, you know, he's otherworldly. He's like Nate St. Clair. I'm just saying from the Kirsten Kelly Chronicles. No, just there kidding. he is, Valley of yeah. Thor. 
There he is. This is the commander of the alliance. He's the head honcho. He and his family, the ones that are going down yeah. and taking care of all of the like the entities that the that the the super soldiers can't because yeah. he's a light being. Okay, that's Valley of Thor. So if you want to look him up, he they they consider him an author. It's called Stranger at the Pentagon. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Now where the hell did? Okay, hold on a minute. Where did my screen go? All right. So now we're going to stop sharing. Yeah. So that's Valiant Thor. Okay. Holy shit. So I believe let's, him even more now. I did. Yeah. So let's okay. ask about the arc. Let's ask. Let's, okay, ask, let's, let's ask, ask about the arc. All right. So did did the Arcturians, did they leave some kind of, we already know we got a yes that they that's left right. the Galactic Arc. All right. So tell us about the Galactic Arc. Okay, now that we know that they left there and there's a galactic arc, what does the arc do and will it save humanity? Any insights, information, what can you tell us about this galactic arc that's been activated in Antarctica by the Arcturians? Any insights, information, what does it do? Why did they set it off? Is there another one? Anything you want to tell us, Lord God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus? I'm going to pull a few more cards with this one because I want more answers. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Yes, there is absolutely an arc of the government. The first card was an oh ace. My God. You can't make this shit up. And it's spiritual. The ace of wands is spiritual. Wow. Yeah, there's an arc. Of, and I'm also getting to that that's, it's, it's a weapon. I feel yeah. like that that's a weapon. I almost feel like that could be the rods of God. Do you think that the ark could be like the rods of God? Because I'm getting that that yeah. that ark, that ark can blast away some shit. Yeah. I think it's got a big amount of I think it's God's energy within it. I really yeah, do. Yeah, some kind of um like uh, not not nuclear but some kind of energy. No, but it's like an energy that that I think it's something that we that's not on the not on earth that yeah. we know we've yeah. ever felt, all right. it, felt with it before all right yeah so anyways in the recent past yes they've been hiding it okay mm -hmm. they snuck it there sleight of hand they tricked they under the darkness of night they did it okay so they hid it there they snuck it there it's definitely there's an arc it's a galactic arc okay um Yes, they have been hiding it and they've been very afraid of it. The Arcturians yeah. have been very afraid. They hid it there because they were afraid of it getting in the wrong hands. And they knew it would be heavily, heavily guarded there. And it was hidden in plain sight. Heavily yeah. guarded and hidden in plain sight. The arc is absolutely activated. It's going to activate and bring on, I feel it has something to do with our ascension. It also, I yeah. feel like it. Once it activates, I feel like it's going to help activate the world. And it's going to bring, I feel like it's going to um, eradicate evil. And I do think it's going to activate us. All right. It's definitely going to be made public. It's going to come on public. Mm -hmm. And it's to help. It's going to bring victory to humankind. I feel it kind of acts as a weapon. And I also mm -hmm. feel, too, it also it has a lot of energy. It brings a lot of spiritual energy. And it could be used for to destroy or to build up. OK, but and that's why that's why they want it hidden, because they know that any type of weapon or any type of, let's say, technology, if it was in the wrong hands, they would use it for war. OK, yeah. so that's why they hit it. You, just like anything, just like we know that anything they would want to use it for mm -hmm. war. OK, um, and also getting to that at one point, the um, there was a big battle there because the dark hats found it all right mm -hmm. and there was a big battle but they was they lost the dark hats lost Good. okay there was like there's no way they were trying to get at it i feel like they found it but no they didn't get it they suffered a big loss so that's what i got what did you get on the arc the some kind of galactic arc i think it's one of the arc of the covenants I think so. This is this is them watching us. They're, they've been watching and, and kind of gauging what's been going on on, on the planet, honestly, to see yes. when they can release this, because I think it does. And yes, that some of the, it, it's their authoritative. It's they're the, they're the ones that are that are, um, I think, kind of um, in charge of it at this point. And I also got 
this is what's interesting. I got the death card, but that means that they're just going to bring in another change. Yes. Level up, right? And yeah. Right. Yeah. Leveling up, ending and ending in a, an a, ending. a, a rebirth and transforma transformation. Transformation. Yeah. And the bottom of the deck was the was was the um, high, pre high, high priestess. priestess. The high priestess, which actually makes sense because you know they it's sort of like they've been they've been fighting it right, fighting black and yeah. white, and also the higher resonance. It's a higher. Yeah. It's definitely of a higher resonance, and I feel like. Just, um, I almost am wondering, you know, if it's going to bring down the firmament. Well, it's already bringing down the firmament. But I think it's, it's already not, melting the think, ice caps. But yeah, but I think it's even going to be even quicker than that, like quicker. Who knows? Like I'm, I'm just thinking. Can we ask if like it's going to be sped up, or is this going to happen like over thousands of years? Like, what are we? Yeah, but right before, but after that, we're going to have to say hi to Sarah Ashley, our soul sister. Oh, hi, Sarah. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of didn't want to go too too far into. I just All like right. let's do a quick one. Like, yeah, I wanted to like hit like individual topics, but let's. What's the okay. question that you wanted to ask? I was just going to ask, like, how, you know, how long is this, if this arc is activated, let's just say if it's activated right now, is there any way of knowing, like, how, if this is going to be coming to light, if they're going to tell everybody about it, if we're going to be able to start going up to. Wait, I already um, got that. I already got that it's going to be made public. You did? I didn't hear it. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> My car. Sorry. All right, go ahead. All right. Do you have uh, any other question? Any other quick question about no. it? No. Do you want to know if it's if it's if it's um? Let's. Uh, you know what we can do. Do you want to ask if there's more than one? Yes. Do you want to ask if there's more than one arc? Okay, let's I do that. Think there is more than one, actually. All right. Let's, let's see. see. No, that's a good question. And Soul Sister Sarah is in the chat. I didn't for I didn't see you at first, honey. And then I and then I everyone was like, "Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah." I'm like, "Sarah's here." <laughs> I don't. Oh, okay. I haven't been paying Sorry. attention. Sorry. <laughs> Holy God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, is there more than one galactic arc in this world? Is there more than one galactic arc that some kind of you know from another planet or dimension and if so, can you give me an idea as to where it is? Some kind of yeah. download. This is going to be more of a download than anything. Is there more than one galactic arc hidden somewhere on this earth? And if so, can you give me a download? Give me something, a channel as to where. All right. I'm already getting that there's something hidden. Mm -hmm. There's one hidden in the South Pacific, which is where Lemuria is, and there's one in where Bermuda Triangle is. There's two, there's two there, hidden way, way below. And I think there's one, something could be on Easter Island. I'm getting Easter Island. Yeah. All right. Now let's see if I there's more than one. I was thinking maybe Solomon Island. I don't know. But I got the two, I got that there's two again, because I got the two of wands again. I also got undercover. Yeah, they're hidden. Um, they're hidden. And they have a lot of magic within them. Okay, That's so I'm that. getting, they're hidden, definitely hidden. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm getting that. I think there's three of them. Mm -hmm. I think there's three of them. I actually am wondering, and I'm what I actually hold on, feel... hold, hold on a minute. Hold on. All right, I'm getting there. Sorry, I was getting a channel. I think there's five. No, no more than five. I'm sorry. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say I think one of them is actually hidden on uh, Oak Island in Nova Scotia. They're doing a huge. But don't you it's think they would have found it by now? They've been digging no. that fucking place up from now. No, they, they never find. First of all, that's the worst fucking show ever. They never find it. I know. It. 
but they they actually they started going way way down they were building they had to build a shaft in order to go because everything was all dilapidated but anyway they're they're almost at the money the actual money and i think but i don't think it's going to be in the money pit i think it's going to be in another area on the island i think that the ark of the covenant there's one of the ark of the covenants there That's yeah what you know what i was thinking too that there was one in greenland i do think there's one in greenland yeah, yeah i was thinking that too mm -hmm. so i believe what i'm getting the download the channel that i'm getting is that there's obviously one in antarctica mm -hmm. there's one in greenland I'm getting this one around maybe on Easter Island or right light in the ocean in Easter Island. There's one where Lemuria was in the South Pacific. And there's also another one in Atlant um, the Atlantic Ocean, which is the Bermuda Triangle. How many? Is that five? Yeah, Did I do that's five? six, I think. Is that five there or six? six? I think there was five. Thank that's you. where I'm getting. Yeah, anyway. I think it was five. Yeah. And I do think that it has to do... It, portals it's got to be near something that has a portal because that whole bermuda triangle there's portals and i mean there's portals i think it creates the there. portals to tell you the truth i think it yeah, creates the portals. The i believe yeah. that yeah all right, all right. so Next. we did the the we crushed the we caliente contentito we caliente when it came to antarctica we found out about antarctica now our next topic sorry i have a thousand screens open here so <laughs> i have to figure out bring up my transition yes all right let's talk about this is chrissy this is chrissy's near and dear mm. giants all right I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show one thing. Here we go. Yeah. We have a few videos that Chrissy sent me about giants. The next topic is giants. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is so interesting. I don't know. Like that was trippy. I'm like, what the hell? It looks a little fake to me. I'll be honest with you. I know. But I know. Plus, you can't see anybody closing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It looks a little fake to me, but I'm not saying that. It, it I does. Don't believe I don't in know. Giants. But this isn't the first. This isn't the only one. There's like some other ones out there too. But yeah. All right. So that's that one. All right, and I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Okay. All right, I believe in giants, but I don't think I call bullshit on that one. That yeah, looks kind I, of CGI to me. Uh, yeah, I could and be it's wrong, but that looks it. very CGI to me. Yeah. Put in the chat, folks. What do you think about that? I'll do a reading on that. We're going to do a reading on that, but what do you guys think? I think that looks a little CGI, I but that I could good. be wrong. All right, let's take let's look about giant skulls. All right, this is another reason why I believe there are giants. Yes. Yeah look at giant skulls all right come on folks how can you say there there's come no on, evidence well, they've, been found, they've found so many of those and yeah. they've they brought them to the smithsonian either either yeah. they they um destroyed them or they hid them okay there's yep. so many bones they found so many bones of skulls around the world they were hidden in the vatican they mm -hmm. were destroyed okay you mean to tell me that okay there we go look at the size of that skull that's like huge i mean now you gotta remember now back in, about this right here yeah and i mean like back in though and back in the i mean they're saying that they were upwards of 15 feet tall these things i mean like huge so it's, 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 I I don't believe the door. The door looks fake. I'll have yeah. to read on that skull. I yeah. don't know if I believe it or not. All right, let's do more about there's, the giants. Here we go. Another, Chris, gotta... Facts about giants. Here we go. Facts about giants. Yeah. All right. So this is in yeah, this Ireland. Is in. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Stupid. Sorry. All right. So the giant. Giant's Causeway is comprised of about 40,000 hexagon vault. Oh, what's this stupid? I hate these things. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So 
Oh, stupid. I gotta stop sharing my screen. All right, I guess I gotta stop sharing my screen. Oh my God. I don't know why that keeps on coming up. All right. Anyways, I kept on getting a stupid alarm thing coming up. Okay, so the bottom line is that I believe giants are real. There's been accounts of giants all over the world. Mm -hmm. This is supposedly a giant causeway in Northern Ireland where there's many doors. I want to bring up also too, Christy, because you brought up the kind of doors in the Grand Canyon. Okay, here yeah. we go. All right, let's bring up this about the giant doors as well. I'm that was crazy that too. For a minute. Shit. Sorry. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. I need an assistant. I need a production manager. I know you do. <laughs> All right, here we go. These are the things. Yeah. Oh, I love that guy that does that. Here we go. Yeah, this is. Oh, that's the. Is that the same one? This is the drone. Oh, that's the drone footage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is a different area. This is in Oregon. Isn't that crazy? Like, it almost looks like an entrance from like a Hobbit house, like almost only bigger. You know, like they live in the in the in the caves in the caverns under under underground basically some people say that these are gi giant doors okay yeah. just showing you different things From, yeah and see it had somebody said that they saw something peeking out of that that window or whatever that is all right, so we have that. All right, we have that now. And then the one with the guy that disappeared. Yeah, I couldn't bring up that. That video didn't work. Let me see. Okay. So he's saying there was some guy that one. he had footage of a guy that was on top of a mountain. Really, really, I mean, it looked huge. Yeah, it that's the guy from Canada. Yeah. All right. Here's the thing of the Grand Canyon with the giant. Okay. Here we go with the giant door with the Grand Canyon. All right. Yeah, I'm going to share my screen. These are giant doors in Grand Canyon. Yeah. That's crazy. And it was Eisenhower in 19... Let, 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 let the guy's talking. Oh, sorry. Okay. Anyways, okay. What did you say, Chrissy? It was Eisenhower, President Eisenhower. Let me see. I wrote it down. Hold on. What year it was. Uh, in uh, 1908 that wanted to declare Grand Canyon off limits to all timber and mining operations. And he, there was a general from the military that actually uh, went to, was the first American, he was the, he was the first director of the Bureau of American of Ethnology at the Smithsonian from its founding in 1879. He was the first to lead an expedition to explore the Grand Canyon to scientifically investigate the Colorado River was John Wesley Powell. Um, and then back and then in 1908, this other guy, this Kincaid, J.B. Kin Kincaid guy went and then they found, I mean, they they found this cave. So, of course, they went in and as and then they found a bunch of stuff. They ended up going back to the Smithsonian, got more money, got more men, and then they went back. And they literally, they got very far into this cave in the Grand Canyon, and they could see that there were uh, copper tools, spears, there were Egyptian hieroglyphics, which is so interesting. But the, but the yeah. crazy thing was that they reached the largest chamber deep within in the, in, in the Grand Canyon, in the middle of this thing. And there were holes on the wall that were slanted 35 degrees and they found giant humanoid mummies that were lined up against the wall so just one across the other so i don't know and 
you know, I don't know what happened with that, but that's interesting to me because are they going to reanimate? I don't know. Well, I'm getting, I've gotten before that there is such a thing as giants. All right. There is such a thing as giants, but let's ask, let's ask about the Grand Canyon. Okay. Okay. Let's ask, we already got, didn't I already, didn't we already ask about if there were giants at the Grand Canyon? I don't know. I, I think, think there was, was, did you ask, did you do it? What on Jason's show maybe last week? Yeah, but we did it on the, with, I did it with the Prince of Peace, but I, I didn't ask about, I don't believe I asked about, we got that there was water underneath and yeah. I, I don't know about the giant's door. So let's ask. Let's ask if there were giants that lived at the Grand Canyon. Okay. And then we'll ask what they were trying to hide there because right. there, there's been a lot of stuff. All right. Holy God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, were there or are there giants? And let's let's not pick a lot of cards. Let's just do no. three cards each. Holy okay. God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, is there or was there giants that either lived or are currently living in the Grand Canyon? Were there or are there giants currently living in the Grand Canyon, Lord God, in Yeshua Jesus? Wow. Yep. Absolutely. I got a yes. And I'm getting they're going to be on earth and the whole world's going to know that. And I do think that maybe some of them. Yeah, they're going to be on earth. I don't know if someone could be reanimated, but maybe there could be some reanimation. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right. But I will tell you that the the uh, the government's been hiding people there because I do think that there were a lot of battles over there i'm getting there's a lot of battles over um over the grand canyon i feel there's a lot of stuff there that they don't want people and obviously there's a lot so i'm getting that that's true that where mommy's there and there were obviously with an ace yes and no yep. yes they were my yep they were giants there what'd you get sun card yep. huge yes yep. and the galactic card isn't that interesting yeah so, so there's, there's a lot of, i think there's some alien stuff in there i think they have a lot of stuff i think there's a lot of different uh, i think things they've been storing in there i think they've been yep. storing a lot of things yeah anyway wow yeah that's crazy holy moly <laughs> all right so lord god let's find out if well, obviously, everything's going to be revealed about the Grand Canyon. Now, let's ask if there are the giants. Now, let's ask if there are extraterrestrials living there now. I yeah. think definitely. Okay. All right. I think they're there. Yeah. Right. Okay. Holy God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, are there extraterrestrials that are living within the canyon underneath and hiding within the canyon? Are there good and or bad extraterrestrials that are living underneath or within grand canyon what say you lord god and yeshua jesus i know what they're going to say yes because there's been too many videos of ufos and uaps yeah. and ships and crafts absolutely got the star card yep there's yeah. there. yep and the military's yeah. down there too yep and yeah, there's portals here. There's, there's, hold on. I'm still going. Yeah. There's, there's, um, there's, there's still eight of one. So I'm getting that there's, um, that they get from one portal to the next. And there were some, there were some, I got, there were dumbs down there where they were kids. Wow. Where they had some bad things going down there that they got rid of. What'd you get, hon? I got, they've been already taken out. They were surrendered. Well, whoever it was, yep. had the white hats already, and I got, and I got the king of wands. So the white hats, the white Ooh. hats took over. Ooh. They could, they took wow. them out. They took them completely out. Yep. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Wow. 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 Crazy. Nice. That's nuts. Holy moly. So yeah, it looks like there were giants living there yep. probably still there are ets still and i think i'm getting that there's been there's been ets there all along and they're still there there's oh, portals probably. there and i think they come and go and i think there's sasquatches and all kinds of things living there yeah. that's why 
I mean, aren't there areas that are not, people aren't allowed to go? Yeah, you're there? not allowed to go to, there's like, I don't know, 60, 70% of it you can't even go to. Like they, they totally, it's, it's completely controlled by government. You can't go into, into certain areas. There's only the tourist area and then there's a whole other, I want to say 60, 70% of it. They don't even allow people in. I mean. Yeah. Wow. That's nuts. Holy yeah, moly. for sure. Yeah. All right, folks. So that was interesting. It's true. it's true. There's aliens and there's ETs and there are real live giants. It yep. is true, according to both tarot readers. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. And wow. All right. Let's go to the next mystery. Let me open up the tab and, okay. and do like the Princess of Peace instead of the Prince of Peace. The Prince of <laughs> Princess of Peace. More things about, okay, here we go. Let's talk about this, the island. Oh, so, yes. This is it. All right, so we it's wanted to, it. about Sol one of the Solomon Islands, right? All yeah. right, hold on. Oh, all right, about the giants on the Sol Solomon yeah. on Islands. All right. I'm going to let the, uh, the ad go first before I do that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oops. No, I don't want. Here we go. Let's do. Let's share our screen and let's talk about Solomon Island next, folks. No sound. You guys can't hear any of this. Oh no. Oh, I guess there's That's no not... sound. Oh well. Oh. At least I have sound. Hold, hold on. Maybe there's a way to do it. Hold on. I could hold on one second. I can figure out a way to do sound. Hold on one second. I think if I bring it up this way, I'll be able to have sound. Let's see. If not, we'll just move on. All right. We'll just move on and we'll just do, we'll just pick anyway. Oh, that's, that stinks. Cause I that's love that. Bummer. I really like that. That was such a good video too. All right. Let's, uh, all right. All right. Let's look, let's, let's, let's try it now. Let's try okay. it now. I'm going to try this one last thing. And if the, if it doesn't work, we'll just move on okay. and we'll just ask the questions. I'm going to try this one last time. Let me know if you can hear the sound folks. Can you hear it now? No. It says no sound from the previous video either. So guess not. Nope. All right. I guess not. I guess I can't. All right. I guess no sound. Okay. So tell us about the Solomon Island, Chrissy, and why we were looking up because I guess there's no sound. Well, what happened is that I guess yeah. when I use, I can't you when I use um it's it stinks because. What happened is that it's it's the browser. I can't use the Firefox because if oh. I, use, I use Google Chrome, oh. I can use Google Chrome for the video, but then I'll glitch. So it's because of the browser. But anyway, yeah. sorry. Tell us about tell us well, about the Island. Basically, what they were just saying is that the um, so you understand the Nephilim, right? The Nephilim are the 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 there were the fallen angels that fell, which are the Nephilim, who then they made. 
Oop. Well, I don't know what happened. No, Chrissy. Chrissy. Oh, my God. We lost Chrissy. Okay. Well, we lost Chrissy. I don't know what the hell happened. All right. We'll just keep on going. I don't know anything about the Solomon Islands. All right, folks. All right. We'll go on to the next. I want to do a read about Valiant Thor. Okay. So I believe Valiant Thor is who he says he is. He's a Venusian that he did what he said he's doing and that he is the galactic leader. But I just want to do just a little, just a little confirmation about Valiant Thor. Because my downloads have been saying that it's absolutely right that he is from Venus. He did actually, I mean, there's proof of it. Obviously, there is, he wrote a book called The Stranger at, hold on, there she, she's back. Okay. What happened? I just went to fifth dimension and back and, you know, I don't know. All of a sudden I'm in the middle of talking and it just went dead. It's so weird. Okay. All right. So tell us about the Solomon Islands and then I was going to, I'm going to pull on Valley and Thor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, the Solomon Islands. So basically what they're saying is they've been, they, there have been so many giant bones found there that mm -hmm. it, it's just incredible. And they used to live there and they, they're saying that there still are real giants actually living present day on solomon island Ooh. Now, so, where's, is it in i want to know we got to pull cards because holy shit if that's true yeah now is the solomon the islands, are, are they in this and they in the south pacific yes yes is that where it yes. is All no right. the solomon islands yes yes sorry yes no i was thinking that's okay else. yes all right, so you want to ask if there are, let's ask if there are still giants. I'm going to do my dark cards because I have a feeling they're not nice. Are there still okay. giants living in Solomon Island? Okay, and they would like eat, they were Jesus. eating all is of the tribes. There, yeah. Is there giants living on Solomon Island? Are there giants living on Solomon Island and any other insights, information? Let's just pick three cards, just a yes okay. or no. I'm getting that there were, but they're dead. <laughs> there That's were, so um, but, and they were like, they weren't from this dimension. They were the galactic, but uh, yeah, they weren't, they're not there anymore, but that they did live there. Okay. I got, yeah, they're not there anymore. I got this surrender card and I also got wow. bad demonic and they hurt a lot, a lot of people. Yeah, the the there were the, the um the back in the day. I mean, they've been there for thousands of years, I guess, apparently. And they would go and they were like cannibals, so they were eating the people, the other tribes that were trying to live in around the Solomon Islands there. And that, yeah. Wow, you got the Ten of Swords too. We got the same exact cards. Oh wow! See, that's the Ten of Swords. Yep, same exact cards. Crazy. I have a different deck. Yep. Yeah. So they were, they did live there, but and they're they gone. Were and they, yep. Um, yep. And they, they hurt a lot of people, a ton of people. Wow. Crazy. Beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, man. Wow. I wonder. Insane. Wow. So giants are real people. Giants are real. So let's ask if there are, let's ask about the Vatican. Okay. I Ooh, have a yes. little bit about the Vatican. Obviously, exactly. my sound's not working now that I'm using Firefox. Oh, well. Oh, shit. It is what it is. I want, but I think there's a picture. I think I have a picture of the Vatican. Hmm. Let's see. Or someone's Twitter. No. No, it's not going to let me. All right. Oh, All right. Let's ask if there are giant bones. And mummies, giant bum, mummies hidden under the Vatican. Okay. Like Lord God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, are there giants, bones, and or real giants that are hidden under the Vatican now or in the past? Are there remnants of giants, giant bones and mummies, and or 
real giants that have been hidden under the Vatican now or in the past. What say you, Lord God, in Yeshua, Jesus? I do remember seeing pictures on, I think it was Telegram or Rumble, about really, really tall, disgusting-looking, monster-looking giants that were dressed like bishops and cardinals, and they were priests next to them. So I think it's true. Oh, that's creepy. You talk about yep. creepy. Yep, and it wow. is true. Look at I got an ace of swords. It's absolutely wow. true. Yep. There was a yeah. big guy there too. One of the big guys was there. Wow. Yep. I've got Holy military shit. has taken over it though. It white hats took over and it was well hidden. Definitely they've been well hidden. Wow. Under there. And hell yeah, judgment card. Wow. Holy Isn't that crazy? Shit. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I can tell you, I think that there was some giants that might have been. I'm getting that some of the, I'm getting that these giants, they, they, I mean, there were pictures too, like you, you see all black and white pictures. So I'm getting yeah. that some of these giants were regular physical beings like us. Mm -hmm. They were just hybrids. But I also feel like a lot of the giants, like the ones that are, show up under the Vatican and mm -hmm. maybe that are in um, the Grand Canyon, I'm getting they're interdimensional and they don't yeah. live here. What are you getting? Do you think so I too, think, Chris? I, I think so too. That's why I thought it was interesting when I got I picked up the the that world card. Yeah, it's a level up, but it's also they. I think they honestly. Okay, I'm gonna say this, even though we're we haven't really talked about it, but the pyramids. I mean, there's pyramids all over the freaking earth, underwater, above ground, mm -hmm. underground, and I just feel like they still use. They know how to use those in order to jump from area to area, whatever, Stargate to Stargate. I kind of yeah, think. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, ooh, let's I wonder if there's pyramids under the Vatican. Let's ask. Ooh, let's ask that. That's a good question. All right. Holy okay. God in the name of Yeshua Jesus. Are there pyramids under the Vatican? And what else is under there? We know there's so much. Are there pyramids under the Vatican? And any other insights or information about them? And what else is under there for God and Yeshua Jesus? I'm keeping with the dark cards because they're, I know. It's yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. I keep on getting aces. Yes, there are pyramids there. Absolutely. Wow, you can get aces. Yep. And this is crazy. So, yep. Yeah, so I got, yes, they're definitely, they're the Ace of Pentacles. And I got the Hermit card. So there, I'm getting that. Oh, wow. The, I'm getting that they were like portals. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that there were portals. And I'm also getting too that they housed some of the intergalactics there. And I'm also, yeah, and I'm also getting. They hide some of the ETs there, and there's there's portal there's portals there. Okay, they did black magic and all kinds of sacrifices there. All right, obviously it was well hidden. There's a lot of power there. Um, sacrifices too. Unfortunately, there were sacrifices there, but they've been deactivated and they've been taken over because I feel like the White Hats yep. have taken it over. What'd you get? Yep. Well, yeah. So what I have is, yeah. I mean, it's something they've been there working at a lot for a long time under there definitely and they were in a unique situation uh they were kind of in a in a high they were kind of in a lay of the land kind of down there and mm -hmm. then i have that's like a portal card but it's also a collaboration okay with the vatican to hide everything yeah hide everything and then the death card so oh, wow, transition change. Yep. Transition Holy moly. Change. Isn't that crazy though? It's crazy. So getting with the death card with them. So yeah. I feel like they went down there and I feel like that's where they kind of they, they were regenerated. I'm getting that back in ancient times, they went down there. And you know, like a lot of these demons, they like they don't age. I feel like there's some kind of regeneration there too. Yeah. I think so too. And they're able to 
you know, get the reborn almost over and over again. And yes. I also, I really think that there are some underneath the Vatican that are in stasis that are going to, I really believe that they're going to reanimate. I think they're going to try and reanimate. And yes. that's what's going to, and they talk about it in Revelations even. I mean, they do talk about All the right. fact that there's going to be these beasts that come on up from up from underneath the ground that we're not even going to know what to think because they're so weird. I mean, and so creepy. So All right. I, so that's what let's I feel. ask. Let's ask if any of the giants on this earth are going to that they're in stasis, they're asleep and they're going to reanimate. Let's ask that. Okay. And I'm going to use my dark cards because I know, no, there's probably not any good job. Okay. I only have this set. So <laughs> just, All right. holy to... God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, are there any giants that are in stasis? Those fell out. Are there any giants that are in stasis? They're in coma sleeping that are going to be awoken, awakened or reanimated on this earth are there any really really big giants hiding underneath or in mountains that are in stasis that are going to be reanimated and brought back to life lord god and yeshua jesus wow okay. <laughs> i'm getting no I'm getting they tried to bring them back to life, but it didn't happen. <laughs> they tried it. to reanimate them. All right. But there was there was conflicts and battles. And I feel like the White Hats came in and said, that's not happening. And there was a balance. That's okay, interesting. So, but they were, they, they were hiding in plain sight. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting, they tr I, I'm getting that they tried to. That was the plan. Mm -hmm. But. I'm getting that the White Hats defeated them and defended them. Okay, well, I got the star card, which means, you know, definitely otherworldly beings. And I got the hanged man, which is they are, they had, they were in stasis. There was some kind of an agreement made. So when you say that the White Hats and everything, uh, clean, that they, they didn't do what they wanted to do, but yeah, it was, the baddies they wanted to do that but it, they 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 made an agreement with them some there was something and i don't know what that would be uh how they would change that i mean i don't know what agreement they could possibly make i don't what think do they think? made an agreement i'm getting that they were wiped out you know you don't make agreements with bad well i got yeah. i don't know i don't feel that i don't feel that because they i've got the hang man yeah, they were hung. Oh, okay. You're looking at it that they way. See, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. The, the question was, are they in stasis? So that's a holding pattern. That's how I was. No, we that. we asked if they were going to be re if they were stasis. They were in stasis and they were going to be reanimated. So if you got if you got the hanged man, that means that they're being stayed in stasis. You know what I mean? They're being held. Oh, in I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. See, I, I was reading them differently, but okay. That's okay. I'm that's still okay. learning everybody. You guys know that. <laughs> that's okay. No, because we asked, we asked if they were in stasis and they were going to be reanimated. So that's what how I would read it anyways, if that they were because the hangman is being frozen, being being stayed, right. you know what I mean? Like right. being frozen. held up. Frozen. Held up. Definitely, you know, it was the, the galactic. galactic. I think the galactic yeah. were involved in that, and definitely the baddies wanted to do it. And, yeah. and, and I Some think they—I really think they came to an agreement to stop, or there was something that happened, whether it was a war or whatever. But I kind of—I feel like it was—I don't know—an agreement, or there was something. There was a reason why they didn't do it. I don't think it was just complete conquer. Maybe I don't know. That's sort of what. But interesting. you're probably right over me. I, I don't know. That's what I just felt. No, I mean, I mean, who, this is. <laughs> I mean, there could be good ones and there could be bad ones. I don't know. We don't know. I'm, we're I'm just, not always right. I'm not always right. Well, we're pulling back. Yeah. We're just pulling it could back. be different yeah. ones too. <laughs> I mean, you get what you get. You get what you get. Yep. Maybe it's they're not all that bad. Well, yeah, actually, let's ask that. 
That's Let's true. ask that. Let's okay. ask that if they're all bad. Maybe there's okay. good ones, and maybe there's bad ones. Maybe I'm getting that the ones that were bad were destroyed, and maybe there were good ones, or maybe, or maybe they, maybe they made an agreement with the ale. Okay, maybe they made an agreement. Maybe they made an agreement with some of the galactics. The good galactics not to reanimate because yeah. maybe they were going to reanimate some good That's ones. What I thought. Let, let me ask. Yeah. Hold on. Let me ask okay. if there's any good giants. Holy God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, are there any good giants that are in stasis that aren't evil? Are there any good giants that are in stasis that are in evil? That aren't evil. Are there any giants that are benevolent? That in stasis that are not all evil or bad. Are there any benevolent good giants that are in stasis? Lord God, in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I had cards falling. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. I'm not even gonna pull anymore. That's crazy. Now, I'm getting that they're either neutral or bad, and the ones that are neutral will try to trick. I feel like they'll go either way. All right. Okay. So they're they're not and there's not there are any like benevolent like good ones, but I'm getting that kind of you know like they have neutral spirits. Yeah. I, I feel like they'll they'll go either way. Like whoever will be there. Yeah. Whoever will will be their like their lead leader because i'm getting that they're trickster okay i'm okay. getting that they might present themselves that they might be good but they could be trickster in other words they and i do think that they when they were walking around that they might yeah i'm getting that they're like either bad or neutral but I will say, though, that back, back, way, way back, and I'm talking mm -hmm. about the giants that are in stasis, but they were not all giants way back in the time. So there were some good ones, Chrissy. You're right. Yeah. There were some good ones. All right. Not all of them were bad, but I'm getting the ones that they that they wanted to reanimate. All right. I'm getting that they were either they were tricksters. They would might appear that okay. they were good, but they were kind of neutral. So they would go either way. That's what I'm getting. Which actually is interesting because I got the hangman again, but the fool card. So that's like foolery, trickery, and it also could be like, you know, a, a, a new adventure or a new, but it yep. could also be that. And I also, the bottom of the deck was the king, the king of uh, pentacles. So wow. interesting, right? Yeah. So, I'm, yeah. so there, I'm getting that there were good ones. All right. Yeah. So there were good ones eventually. Okay, and then they're, they're definitely not from this dimension. There were yeah, good no. ones, um, but I'm getting the ones that they were thinking about. Re, like I said, they're reanimated. I'm getting that they're tricksters. Like they might present that they could be benevolent, but they're really mm -hmm. not. Um, and I do think that there's kind of there's many things. Obviously, they're hidden, but I feel that there's yeah. many many things that we don't know about them. Now, um. Chrissy, what do you think about, I, I can't play the video. There was this, the ultimate giant video I had was, this is one guy and he's talking about the mountains and he's and he was thinking, he and he was talking about the Himalayan, you know how Himalayan sea salt's pink? Yeah. And what he was saying is that, I can actually, I can bring up, let me bring it up without bringing up the, the video. Because he was basically saying that he thinks that mountains are dead giants i've heard this before okay Here's... have you heard of that? that mountains are dead giants and that pink yeah. himalayan sea salt is like the you know is like the meat and like like our yeah which is like oh my god yeah that what yeah. they're saying is it, it's interesting because they're saying at the time of the flood so the big flood the great flood the noah ark flood you know there were giants that were living on the planet at that time okay and once that cleansing happened on the planet the the theory is is that 
over time, you know, these, so they, they fall dead or whatever, but, you know, drowned, whatever they're, they're, they're killed in this great flood. But then as the earth changes in over millions of years and the thing that, yeah, that some of these mountains have literally, you can look at the side and they look kind of like a face, like you, I've yes. seen pictures. Yes, you can see like tons of them look like face and they do look like if, if you look at the aerial shots from drones or airplanes, they look like they look like big beings, human beings or big beings that have like been turned to stone. Yeah, almost like they were turned to stone. Now, this is the picture. I can't show the video, but yeah. if you look at this, you can tell it does kind of look like human type okay. flesh. And I'll share my video. I mean, no, no. Not this. This is so interesting. I'll share. Isn't I'll it? share my screen. Hold on. Oh shit! Now I can't. I can't share my screen now. Dang. Oh shit! Yeah. Now it won't let me share my screen. Why you is it doing You want to email it now? to me, and I'll try and share it on my end. Oh, it's okay. All right. Uh, let me it. see. Uh, well, actually, let me see. Yeah, let me email it to you and see if you can share it on your end. Okay. But I don't know if it won't let no if it won't let it won't let you share the screen. It won't let me share the screen. Oh, you know what okay. I mean? Because I'd have to share it on your end. Shit, that sucks. Shit. I, I, I don't know why picture. all of a sudden it won't let me share a screen. I don't that really pisses me off. All right, but all right, this yeah, really pisses me off. I don't like using Firefox. All right. Yeah, I don't I, like I, that I, either. All right, I need I can't do it all of a sudden. All right. So let's do the question and we'll like wrap it up after this. Okay. Time. The question is, are those, are there some giants that, are there some mountains that are actually giants that died and turned to stone? Okay. Are there some mountains, are there mountains that look like they are big giant human beings that died and turned to stone. Are they really giants that turned to stone? Lord God and Yeshua Jesus, let's ask. Are there really humongous giants? Are there mountains? Some of the mountains on this earth actually huge beings, giants turned to stone. I mean, I wish uh, this really makes me mad because if you look at some of these it looks like human flesh and like it looks yeah. like it looks like um you know like our skin and inside yeah. all like the red parts and the veins and everything it's and they say true, that Himalayan it salt. It, and people love himalayan salt i mean my my need to cook with it all the time I'm like, oh you know my god from? all right here we go here we go what did you, you get ready? yes Holy. I got that that the mountains are really big giants that turned to stone and they weren't nice. That's why it happened. It must be something biblical. Wow. They must have been turned it must be, be something biblical. biblical. So those giants were actually those mountains that look like big giants that look like that were turned to stone. I'm getting absolutely yes. They were spiritually evil. They were bad and God got rid of them. All right. And I'm getting that there was they killed a lot of people, a lot of God's yep. children. Yeah. And I'm getting yes. that it was um, God's army. Yep. And I'm getting God's army, a lot of spiritual beings that took them down because they killed a lot of people and they caused a lot of havoc. Absolutely. Wow. Holy shit. shit. That Holy is crazy. Shit. And yes, look. I got the military card. They came in. There was a fight. There was a battle. Okay, to take them out as well. And look, it was a surprise. It's a surprise information. Nobody would ever believe it, right? And wow. Mother Earth. There you go. Mother Earth, the imprint. Wow. Can you even believe that? And bottom of the deck is the, they were a burden on, on the planet. So they were removed. Wow. That Holy moly. That is crazy. Holy moly. Like, I can't believe I got the Mother Earth card. I mean, like, that's just right there. Wow. Seriously. All right. So one last question. Okay. Is, the, is Himalayan sea salt really their salt? Because we're made of salt. Is, is it Himalayan giant? sea salt really 
when we are eating, is Himalayan sea salt really part of of the of the giant's body? Uh, when we okay. is Himalayan sea salt really the salt derivative of a giant's body and amount? What say you, Lord God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus? What's the deal with the Himalayan sea salt? Is it really part of a giant's body from a mountain? That was fossilized. Wow. If that's the I can't believe it. That's gross that we've been using. That is I hope so it's not gross. True. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. I got it. Yes. <laughs> oh, my oh, oh, Yes. And independent, it's, it's, they're, that's their people, the independent, it's, it's the giants are in, independent. Yes. I can't believe we both got yeses. That is so disgusting. I really, really. Yes, and I'm getting that giants ate a lot of people and they they ate a lot of kids. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my yes. God. And yes. Kids. I just got this so hard. Hidden in plain, wow. Hidden in yeah. plain sight. Oh that my god, and they went crazy. by so that's why they were stoned. They turned to stone because they were because they were bad. They were killing a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and the leader and God and the leaders, like the, the galactics and the council and all and those what, that were watching bottom the of world. My deck is the, bottom of my deck was that. Oh my god. Isn't Holy that crazy? Shit. That is nuts. I cannot believe it. Yes, it was them and they're independent, right? So yes. Oh my and god. Okay, yes, so we were yeah, yeah. the kids. And yes, it was a collaborational effort. All right. So guys, I'm gonna put in Wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, obviously I can't do this, but I'm gonna put in I'm oh, I wish I could share this video. This is really pissing me off. Ugh. Okay, it was I found it on Telegram. All right. So look up Himalayan salt giants. Look it up like on Rumble or Telegram. I think it might Here, have been on I'll, Telegram. I'll, I'll find it right now and stick it in the chat. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see. Can, that was just that's just so disgusting that we both got the same thing. That is insane. It is. It is disgusting. Okay, right, before while Chrissy's doing that, I'm gonna do a poll to see what what's going on energetically rise for the week, and then we'll call it a night. What do you say, Soul yeah. Sister? Yeah, I think that's great. So, yeah, obviously, maybe Celtic salt, but then again, maybe the Celtic salt was Celtic giants. Oh, geez. <laughs> that is just, I'm I'm floored, seriously. I'm this floored, is too. But you know, when, I, when you look, okay, so when you watch this video and you look at the pictures, yeah, it looks like inside of a human body oh, oh my god i use so much himalayan sea salt i gargle with it i what oh i i think you need to get rid of that uh all right this is entertainment purposes only yeah Take what resonates and leave the rest <laughs> i'm telling you himalayan okay i'm trying to pull it up here all right well, all right, see. all right. Don't try. I'm gonna do a poll as to what the energy is gonna be like this week while Chrissy does that. All right. So, holy God, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, can I get a general reading for the Soul Tribe family that's watching now and will watch in the replay? What are the energies for this week? A general reading for this week. What is going to happen? What's going to transpire with the Soul Tribe family, Lord God and Yeshua Jesus? Ooh, new beginning. Oh, nice. Ooh. Yeah, here, this is. Did you find it? Well, I found there's a disturbing theory that salt caves may just be the petrified innards of giants. Is that yeah, that's it. That could be it. That will be it. Here, I'll, I'll put it in chat. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. All right. So this week for the Soul Tribe family, okay, we're going to be moving in new and different directions, okay? We got the full card. 
So do not be afraid to start something new. Okay, because I'm getting that we're going to be there's going to be a lot of new beginnings. All right. Also, epic week for money. Okay, so if you're waiting to find out whether you got a, a manifestation, we've got the ace of pentacles. So money's coming to a lot of us. Also jobs, material things. So the ace of pentacles is manifestation. It's money coming to you, job offers, anything to do with like the tangible money, anything like that. Okay. Also, this is a week where look at more money. Yeah, all right. So if you're waiting right. to find out whether or not there, you know, maybe there's a settlement, maybe you're waiting on a court case, or if maybe someone loaned you money, but at the very least people are going to be generous with you and you're going to be generous with other people. This is the card of generosity. It's a good money card. So this is a great week. Okay. So if I'm putting these together, I'm saying there's going to, we're going to be turning, there's going to be a lot mm -hmm. of people that are turning a new chapter when it comes to money. And this is the generosity card. So I'm also getting that people are going to be generous with their time, their energy, their talents. They're going to be giving them themselves. And this is really good because we talked about it last night on the show. And we always talk about it. And Chrissy, you talk about it too. Yeah. That we have to use our talents to give back. Yeah. Right. And we also have to use our not only our talents to give back but to connect with spirit. That's where the whole Kristen Kelly came, right? That yeah. was a download. Her her whole book was a download. Yeah. Right? For sure. It really was. I mean, seriously, I just it just cut it just comes to me as pictures and then I write. It's weird. Yeah. But it's right. amazing. Yep. Yeah. Um I'm also too that when we act this week I got the knight of swords. So, I'm getting that when there's going to be lots of quick action this week, okay? So I'm getting that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to turn away from things that don't longer serve them, okay? This is usually the card of like financial loss, but this mm -hmm. is such an epic week when it comes to money. I'm not getting that this is financial loss because this could be like financial loss, loss of faith in oneself. I'm getting that if we actually look at it this way, we're walking away from that which does not serve us. We're turning away from things that make us lose our time, our energy, our sanity, our happiness, our peace. Yep. Okay? We're yep. no longer going to take things sitting down. In other words, like if somebody if somebody that we're around takes our peace, we're not going to be around them. If some if someone's an energy vampire that talks mm -hmm. constantly, and every time we pick up the phone, they just a Debbie Downer and they talk about themselves. We're going to turn our back from things that suffer us loss, whether it's peace of mind, which is, you know, and I also think that some people too might actually quit their jobs because I feel yeah. like these people are like, you know what, I'm, I'm done. Uh, it's not worth losing my energy. So we are going to turn our backs from any type of loss, whether it makes us lose our faith, faith in ourselves, our passion our love, our energy, our time, we're going to put ourselves first. And I feel like we're going to make the decision really, really quick and really, really fast. In other words, like, I'm not taking it anymore. Like, yeah. I feel like some people have just been in dead end relationships or, or been in marriages that they're like, no more, or even friendships or even family, like, I'm done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to walk away because I'm suffering too much of a loss. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. Uh, let's get one last card. And then, Chrissy, why don't you do two cards? Okay. I um, want you to do two cards to kind of confirm what else you get. And I'm going to do a Sufi wisdom card. Okay. This was a lot of fun tonight. Yes, I'm so glad we did it. So glad. All right. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I mean, I just got, which is so interesting, I got the collaboration card. And <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Total. Wow. Isn't that amazing? I'm telling wow. you. Wow. It's crazy. I mean, we're so three thousand be... miles apart. <laughs> yep. Wow. We got Unbelievable. The same that tonight too, which was crazy. What's and that, hun? I said we also had cards the same. We pulled the same cards tonight several times. Yes. Well. Yeah. So there's going to be lots of collaborations with the yep. soul card. What else did you get too? 
I got, I got in the victory card, public, Ooh. public celebration, public yep. celebration. There's going to be lots of, okay, so I'm getting with that lots of collaborations and people coming together and lots of yes. victories. Yes, there's going to be yes. lots of victories. So like anything that you're setting out to do this week, beautiful yes. card. And I got uniting is what I'm hearing in my head, uniting in my head, uniting, Ooh, uniting. I like that. Yeah. I love that. All right, let's get a Sufi Oracle Wisdom card. All right, I love this card. And I will. Now, Chrissy, do you still have books? Do I still have what? Still for sale? Yes, I do. I have, yeah. Okay. I do have books for sale. <laughs> you okay. can just go to my website and order. They just go to the website? Yeah, you can just go to the website and actually um I am I'm gonna lower the price to like fifteen dollars because I had it up higher because I was, you know, did the Comic Con thing, but I'm gonna lower the price. So if you guys wanna do it, I might lower it to just ten bucks because I just want people to read it. I just just really I mean, you know, I just want people I need feedback is what I'm anxious about. So yeah, just go to the website. Oh, I love it's a beautiful listen. I gotta tell you something. I I'm not a fiction reader. I used to love reading fiction. I don't, and I'm not I, like everything I read now is spiritual, and I don't read books anymore, unfortunately. But I I've got two of these because I because I oh, I, yeah, I, I, I know book. the author. I have yeah. been with the author, and I loved <laughs> these books. I really did. They're phenomenal books. So I the, just um, I took my they they kept my attention. And I nothing keeps my attention now. Yeah. So honest to God, they were phenomenal books. Sarah honestly, read them and she loved them too. Yeah, and what it is, I'll just say briefly. So basically, she's a royal star seed. Up, oh, that's Oscar in the background. She's a royal star seed, but she doesn't know it. So it's like about self discovery. And her boyfriend Nate Sinclair is a super soldier with space force. And she's an investigator yeah. who works in and she lives in down she lives in seattle she works she has her own little investigation agency and basically her life was sort of how mine was not living on not i didn't have a hot boyfriend from australia that was a super soldier and i didn't live in a cottage on bainbridge island but <laughs> similarities you know to what she did and what i do and basically this coin just falls into her lap and then there's a huge adventure that ensues and she ends up at the Great Pyramid of Giza to see if there's a portal there. And this is part one of a three part story. So, yes, cliffhanger. Spoiler alert, it's a cl cliffhanger, but it's, it's, it's phenomenal. But it'll be worth it. Uh, Trust me. It'll be worth yeah. it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so, if you're interested in buying that, Christy put them in um, the Kristen Kelly Chronicles website in the link. Yeah. All right. So, we got for our Sufi Oracle Wisdom card, we got way of faith let faith be your guide this is the perfect Ooh, card for this I week because we do have to do faith over fear mm -hmm. all right and these are obviously you can tell by looking at them they're not like the regular rider weight these are I love them oracle so let me um let me read what it means get some light on the subject and yeah all right Yes, this was fun. We haven't done a show together in a long time. Christy was real world. Christy was my first friend in the tribe. <laughs> she yeah. was. She's my first was, one I ever talked to in the whole tribe. It was so. It was yeah. She called. Well, this is funny. I mean, Delphine. She she emailed me and she's like, "I had a dream about your book. <laughs> like, what book are you talking about? This was even before I." I mean, I think I was thinking about writing it, and she's telling me about this, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And then <laughs> yeah, you probably it. thought I was crazy. I did. I thought she was a little nuts. I'm like, "What is she? What book is she talking about? I don't know about any book." She's like, "Oh no, I saw a line of people." I'm like, "What is she talking about? I don't know." So anyway, but that's okay. It, 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 I mean, she, if it wasn't for Lady D, I, it wouldn't have been funded and everything. And the Soul Tribe, thank you for everything. I'm trying to get it out. I'm trying to get books two and three out together so everybody won't have to wait very long. So, yeah, but <laughs> I, yeah, I did. Didn't I tell you that? Yeah. So I did a read and I was I, like, you yeah. didn't even tell me about your book. I had a dream about yeah. your book and then I got that. You almost got your book published, and then at the last minute, and then you forgot about it. But then I said, I see yeah. you signing books. 
and you're selling them and that came true you did and you that sold them true. and i told them it came it's true good. and what was weird was she's like oh no you tried to and i'm like what is she she's crazy i didn't and then sure enough yes that was true i mean like i afterward i realized it you know after the reading i was like oh my god she's completely a thousand percent right <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> Yeah, so sometimes I'll like I'll get things and people will forget because then you yeah. call me back and you said, you know what, along you like, you know what, Delphine, I thought you were crazy, but you were right. I did try to publish the book and it was gonna be published, but then they backed out. So yeah. like sometimes you forget stuff, right? Yeah, it's true. It's true. I was like, oh my god. I mean and it was sometimes, crazy. Right. And you'll know this too, being a reader. Sometimes when you get a reading it doesn't happen right away like people right. like well that doesn't really and you're like well hey let let it play out it sometimes marinate. it might take it might take a year or a couple of years for something to happen Listen, so you just so have far, to let it play out everything that you've said so far has happened everything i'm just i yeah. mean it's it's amazing so if you guys you guys need to go and get a reading from her because she's she's the real deal everybody and i mean yeah i mean i thought she was crazy i went i did say <laughs> when she well, first well, went well, out to me. Well, I am crazy, but but I mean, I thought she was a, a a fruit loop. I was like, what the hell? She contacts me out of the blue. I don't even know who this woman is. I mean, I talked to you in the chat, and then you were like, oh, well, we got to get a meet. We got to do a meetup, and I'm like, well, yeah, you know. And then and then you're like, no, I had a dream about. I I saw it. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> She was, she was just like this crazy stalker, like, who is this crazy lady thing? Like, okay, whatever. <laughs> then, sure enough, wow, isn't that amazing? It was like, it was like me telling Jason, you know, to like, yeah. I like when, like, when my guides were like, when I was watching Jason, my guides were telling me, you need to talk to him. Like, I don't yeah. know this guy. What are you <laughs> talking about? But they're like talking, you know, yeah. he needs to do this. I'm like, yeah. I don't, it's not like I can call up. At that point, I wasn't friends with Jason. I, yeah. this yeah, was like, I right? This is nobody. This is like way before my channel. And my guides are like, bye, bye, bye. you need to tell Jason. I'm like, know him what are you talking about <laughs> so I can get, pick up the phone I just he's just a guy that's on a YouTube channel and then it's weird too I'm because not, you know you're like well should I do that or not like how weird is that like for him I know, you know some some random right. person just called. right right yeah. and then so then I was like and then I was like okay guys and they're like don't worry you'll get the opportunity to give Jason the message and I was like okay like, and yeah, I did get the opportunity yeah, to give Jason did. a message. You just let it go. So they let were go, talking to me. Way, right. They were talking to me. And I was like, really? I don't know this person. They're like, oh, you are. Not only did they tell me that I was going to be friends with Jason. At that point, he was still on with Kristen. They told yeah. me that I was going to be on with Jason and not Kristen. Yeah. And I was going, what could that be? How can it be? They have a channel together. Look yeah. what happened. Yes, yeah. isn't months. that? Six so months later, David. six months later, I was on with Jason yeah. by himself. And at yeah. that, and I was like, so God, I'm like, what are you talking about? So you just, you have to let things play out. You just right. never know. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And, you know, and listen, it's divinely guided. Us, all yep. of us coming together, the soul tribe, all of us. It's amazing. Anyway. Yep. All right, let's read about the way of life. And this is your Sufi wisdom for the weak soul tribe family. This is a divine gift inside you. There is a divine gift inside you that holds a key to your confidence and trust. The key opens a mysterious inner chamber that reveals the secrets of love to you. It is the entrance to the greatness of your ultimate capacity. You will be like a lantern that spreads light around it. An invisible support will sustain and empower you to enter a vast unknown with total confidence. Dear one, surrender faithfully to the unrecognized path and benefit from divine gift that is inside you. Live your dreams, risk it all, and take a chance. Have faith that the potential for love is infused into your life. When you surrender to your heart, clues and the guidelines to follow will appear along the way. 
Bring your dream into reality by having faith that you can face the obstacles along the way. As you master your reality, you will flow towards abundance with the fullness of love. And here's your mantra this week, Soul Tribe. I have faith in my power to face the unknown. Okay, this is like the fool card, the unknown. Yeah. I have full assurance that I am not making a mistake, nor am I afraid of making one if I do. This is very important. Very. You can't be afraid to make mistakes. Everyone learns from their mistakes. Edison and Einstein failed many, many times before they got their inventions and everything that they do scientifically. You have to be willing to make a mistake. There is no failure with every failure that you learn. And on that note, Chrissy, do you have any last minute words of advice, last words for the Soul Tribe family on this? As I would be like, Jason, on this Saturday evening, <laughs> April 15th, 2024, Real World Witness Chrissy. Well, uh, the only thing that I would say is um, just let go, let God, you know, listen, we all are suffering with different things, just trying to get a, get to, through every single day in this crazy economy, the world. And I believe the key is staying connected to God and, and your creative because your creative is what you're going to bring out into the world and you're going to share and it's going to touch people on a positive level that's that's all there is it's just about love and that connection and that's what you need to focus on i mean this other stuff i understand because everybody is suffering you know financially and all these other things that are going on but honestly you know just just try and get out of your head and keep your connection to god and just stay the course whatever that is whatever your goal is if you want to write if you want to you know create music if you want to Whatever the positive is and get in, get in your Zen, get in your zone and just create. That's what Beautiful. I would say. Yep. Create. That's it. You have mm -hmm. to create your creation. When you get into the zone and when you create, you tap into God. Every single yeah. artistic creation. And when you tap into your artist, your artistry and your creation, whether it's singing and making music like I do or writing like Chrissy does, um, whatever it is, that's your connection to God. Creation is from God. We do not create without God. So every time you are inspired to create, that is your connection to the divine. That is your connect, connection to God. So don't do it just, be, you know, do it because of, for the love of it. Don't do it because, or don't not do it because you're not going to make money. Do it because that's your connection to God and it makes you feel good and it will bring you higher. And do so not that's do right. And do not use AI because AI is demonic. It isn't. It isn't real creativity. When you start getting, you start connecting to God. You know, you get, you get the pictures. The downloads come. Don't use AI. I don't care if it's for a sentence or whatever. Do not feed that machine and that demonic okay. entity. Yeah, right. the AI isn't creation anyways. It's it's stolen. It's yeah. not even a creation. It's not it's even. All, all, all AI is is, is like, because demons can't create. All it is is that they took photographs and they took images and they reused them and re yeah. it's like and like skewed them. That's all AI is because AI, when you separate from God, which is what demons do, mm -hmm. you lose your ability to create. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Soul Sister, Real World Ooh. Witness, Christy, my first friend, my first Soul Sister ever from the Soul Tribe. For um, I'm glad you're out of YouTube jail. Thank you yeah. for joining me tonight. And don't forget to watch me and the Prince of Peace tomorrow yeah. night. Chrissy will be there, but she'll be fighting I'll trolls. Be fighting I'll, trolls. Be, I'll be smashing trolls left and right, man. I love it. That's Bring right. It. So watch Bring out, it. trolls. All right, Soul <laughs> Family, I'll see you tomorrow night on the Lightwear Network. Until then, keep on keeping on. We love you. God bless Bye. you. And Thank don't you. let the bastards grind you down. No. Bye. Bye. Thanks.